Hey guys, and thanks for tuning back in with us today. As usual, this is Mitch at Diagnostic North. What we got on the other end of this diagnostic plug today is a 2012 Freightliner with a DD-15, and of course, it's got some active fault codes. And if you like learning about diesel engines and their stupid exhaust systems, you've come to the right place. We're currently doing a parked regeneration, and we're primarily monitoring our SCR inlet knock sensor and our SCR outlet knock sensor because we have a poor efficiency. Now usually I like to see this number around 1.0 or as close to one as you can. The ECM is monitoring this value and throws a fault code if it drops below 70% efficiency. Now either we have a problem with the combustion process where it's introducing a lot more parts per million of NOx than it's supposed to, or we have a biased NOx sensor. It could be the DEF injectors not injecting properly, some DEF pressure related codes. This list will actually go on. It could be a number of different things. And I can tell you right off the bat, we've been doing a burn for eight, nine minutes and our outlet knock sensor is reading higher than our inlet. Now that means that the ECM is thinking that it's not actually doing anything. Now, I don't believe it actually is a poor efficiency scenario. We are just dealing with a bad inlet knock sensor. We're gonna complete this region and hopefully this number will start to creep up, but I doubt it. These sensors have a dew point. Now, dew point means that they have to be at a certain temperature in order for it to start to work properly. And I believe we are past the dew point. So this is actually starting to creep up. We might just have a bad knock sensor. We're gonna see at the end of this regen what that number actually went up to and what our NOx conversion efficiency number is reading. Another thing that we need to check is to make sure that we don't have any NOx sensor not online codes, which is usually a no communication code. And we don't, all we have is, are these NOx conversion efficiency codes. So we can rule out any kind of wiring problem to those NOx sensors and it's just straight cut. We gotta change the inlet NOx sensor just by looking at these numbers on the computer. So we're about 33 minutes in and our inlet NOx sensor is reading a little abnormal. It's fluctuating between minus 5, 200, I've seen it up to 1500, there's 700, 700, 1200. Those are kind of good numbers. It's expected to have a higher inlet part per million than you do in the outlet. That mean, that's what the ECM is trying to find. And the fact that this inlet is not reading stable is exactly why we have a poor NOx conversion efficiency 0 0.03 now we don't want 0 0.03 we want 1.0 or as close to 1.0 as we can even though it is kind of stable now the fact that it goes and reads zero and it's jumping all over the place that's what we we're here to fix that's what the problem is We need to see a higher number on the inlet than we do on the outlet. And the fact that we're backwards here, this is exactly what the problem is. This is why the ECM is throwing that fault, saying, hey, check me out, there's something wrong with me. This means that we're looking for another inlet knock sensor. I wanted to take this opportunity to show you some readings after we replace that inlet knock sensor. And let's also look at our NOx conversion efficiency. As you noticed, it's gone up. We're reading 0.066. Remember, I wanted to see a number close to one. And 0.75, we've actually gained quite a bit of efficiency here. So again, inlet NOx higher than outlet NOx by quite a bit. What do you guys think? Would you have attacked it a different way?